the madness of war seen through the eyes of Israeli soldiers invading Lebanon in 1982. The animated documentary Waltz with Bashir follows the quest of a group of Israeli soldiers trying to remember their involvement in the horrors of Lebanon's civil war. Writer-director Ari Folman fought there as a 19-year-old and had suppressed his memories for around 25 years. When people walk away from this movie, what do you hope they've learned about war? How useless wars are, always. How preventable they are. And in the eyes of the common soldiers, how clueless the guys are. The film's climactic scene focuses on the massacre of Palestinian civilians at the Sabra and Shatila refugee camps. The exact number killed varies from 800 to 3,500. Israeli soldiers had surrounded the camps but allowed the entry of Christian phalangist militias desperate to avenge the assassination of Lebanese president-elect Bashir Jamal. Yes, they were surrounding the camps during the massacre, and that's a terrible thing to do, as is, but they didn't pull the trigger, and like in a lot of places in Europe, people didn't know that. This point may explain why the film has been supported by the Israeli government, even though it's critical of then-Defense Minister Ariel Sharon and blatantly highlights the reckless brutality of his troops. Waltz with Bashir has been critically acclaimed around the world, but the film is banned in Lebanon. Lena Merhej is a Lebanese animator whose mother worked as a doctor at Sabra and Shatila. She's one of the few Lebanese to see the film and says the most common criticism is it only tells one side of the story drives you into the, the, the psychology of this uh, character and you, you are really looking at everything in his point of view, which is the point of view of a soldier who is basically invading a country. Folman accepts the criticism but says it would be hypocritical for a former Israeli soldier to give the Arab perspective too. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.